today I'm going to be letting my Instagram followers decide what I buy at Ulta Beauty. We are sitting in the parking lot right now. I am so excited. I have done this type of video before at Target and Learning Express and if you've never seen me do it before, basically we're going to be going into the store and I'm going to log into my Instagram account and kind of do like this or that polls. I'm planning on posting 10 of them. So for example, we're definitely going to be getting a Tree Hut Sugar Scrub because I'm obsessed with them. So I'm going to take a picture of two that I really want to buy and I'm going to say, all right, guys, pick A or B. Which one should I get? And then like 20 minutes later, we are going to check the results and whatever product gets more votes, that is the one that I am going to purchase. So hopefully that makes sense to all of you. I think I'm planning on doing maybe like 10 rounds. Ah! It's gonna be so fun to see what I walk out with today. But you guys, before we get started, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I wanna see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. All right, so if you were shopping with me at Ulta today and you had to pick one category to shop for, would you choose skincare, makeup, hair products, or nails? Like nail polish, press-ons, the whole shebang. Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, without further ado, we're going to go inside and I am so excited for this, yes! And by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you totally should. That way, when I do another one of these videos in the future, you can participate. So the account that I'm going to be using today is called Lipsessed Lip Balm. I will have it somewhere here on the screen as well as in the description box. Um, this is my business account that I use to promote my lip balms that I make myself. And they're all natural, organic. You should totally check them out. They're on Etsy. Uh, look up Purple Stars 02 to find my Etsy shop. I've got hundreds of flavors to choose from. Anyways, yeah, little shameless self-promo there. But now... Let's go inside and get shopping. All right, guys, let's do it. I'm coming in here on a Monday, so it should be a lot less crowded. Let's get ourselves a basket. My Ulta is literally the best because they carry Sol de Janeiro. It looks like they only have two different scents, or no, actually they're supposed to have three, but I think that one is sold out. Oh wait, never mind. It It is not sold out. I want to get one of these. I actually already have the red one. So our first poll is going to be, should I get this one? It's number 62 or number 71. They look so similar, but they are different. Number 62 is more orange and number 71 is more of like a bronzy color. All right guys, so I'm going to take a picture of both of them. And now we're going to post the poll. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. I want you to comment down below which one you think I should get and which one you hope wins. I have to smell them. I'm gonna do that as soon as I'm done posting this. I'm going to put both in my basket for now, but obviously I'm just going to walk out with one depending on, again, which one wins. But I'm really curious. I'm gonna smell the testers. So this is 62. I'm gonna spray some. Awesome. Nothing has ever felt so. Oh my love's life. <laughs> I love this song. Okay, so that smells very like vanilla y. It's very pretty smelling. It's pretty light. I like this one a lot. So this is 62. And now we're gonna smell 71. I need another place to spray this. Ooh. Oh my god. That smells like a bakery, like a honey pretzel or like. You know those pecans at the mall? It kind of smells like those, except with less cinnamon. I like 71. Oh my gosh. Okay, I really hope that this one wins. It says that this is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. Yeah, this one's my favorite. Let's hope 71 wins. All right, guys, so for round two, we are going to be getting a tree hut sugar scrub because duh, I'm obsessed with them. So, okay, this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna pick out two of my favorites. I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can look with me. So we have Bikini Reef, Pink Hibiscus, Peach Sorbet, Vanilla, Vitamin C, I don't really like that one, Strawberry, oh my god, I thought that this was like really discontinued. Okay, Candied Lemon, Cotton Candy, Coconut Lime, Pina Colada, and then Exotic Bloom. Oh wait, and Watermelon, they have Watermelon too and pineapple. They have a huge variety here. Honestly, I think it's gonna be between candied lemon and cotton candy. 
I love the packaging of both of these. They're both so fun and they smell so good. So once again, comment which one you think I should get, cotton candy or candied lemon. I'm going to post the poll. I'm just gonna hold them like this. Okay. All right, guys, here it is. And we're going to post it. All right, guys, so now we are near the fake nails and nail polish. And I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to do fake nails or nail polish, but honestly, I've been loving acrylics lately. I have these little daisy ones on right now and I'm actually obsessed. I never have to worry about them chipping, which is amazing, and they barely fall off. So we are going to go with acrylics. They have so many options. I think these are new. They're called Jelly Color. There's like turquoise, blue, purple, and pink. I really like those, but I have to say my favorite type of fake nails are French tips. So uh, let's see, there's so many options. These are kind of fun. I like the little design up there. Um, I have to make sure I get the medium ones. The small ones are too short for my nail bed. So the flower ones are cute, but they're really similar to what I have right now. So I think I'm gonna go with these pink ones or let's see what else catches my attention Ooh, they're really pretty there's like a little streak of gold so it's gonna be between these two let me know guys do you like option a more or option b the pink or the more simple ones with the gold i low-key am hoping that the pink ones win but let me know in the comments what you guys want to win and it's posted. So, so far we've done three different categories. Now I think we're going to head on over to Drunk Elephant. All right, you guys, so we are here and I'm not even gonna lie, I have pretty much every single Drunk Elephant product, except there are some things I don't have. And the two that are standing out to me right now that again, I don't have yet are the Bouncy Bright Facial and the Electrolyte Water Facial. So, Oh my gosh, which one is going to win? I feel like I want the blue one more. It just seems like it would feel really soothing on your face. So, okay, I'm going to take a picture of the testers, I think, because in the box, you can't really tell what they look like. But guys, let me know in the comments, do you have either of these? And if you do, let me know what you think. Is it worth it? Is it not? Um, they're probably pretty pricey. Let's see, the orange one is 68 and the blue one is 54. Wow, for some reason I thought the blue one would be more expensive, but all right, let's post our poll. I have a feeling this one is going to be almost a tie. I don't think one is going to get significantly more votes than the other, but who knows? Wait, why does the box for the blue one look so much bigger than the box for the orange one? Is it just me? I don't know, but either way, we're gonna put both of these in the basket. All right guys, so while we're on the topic of skincare, I wanted to get some more from Bubble. I think this brand is so fun and the packaging is just adorable. So there are three featured moisturizers. There is the Slam Dunk, Cloud Surf, and Level Up. I don't have any of these yet, but I really want one. So we're going to post another poll. I'm kind of hoping that this one wins. I'm not gonna lie, I just think that the packaging looks really pretty and also I feel like this one will be the most hydrating. But again, oh wait, hang on. I can't do three, I have to pick two. Ooh, okay, so this is definitely gonna be an option and then I think we'll do the, oh, this is tough. We'll do this one in the level up. Which one do you guys want to win? I feel like this pool in particular looks so satisfying because the colors of the bottles are just perfect okay guys so now i'm looking at all of the benefit products and i will admit benefit is one of my favorite high-end makeup brands so i am either going to try the benetint which you could put on your lips and cheeks it's a lip and cheek stain callie is obsessed with this i'm going to either try that or i'm going to try one of these boing cakeless concealers callie is also obsessed with this what shade would i be i feel like i'd probably be this shade honestly i don't even know which one i want more maybe this because i don't have like a lip or a cheek stain at all so we're going to post the poll, but as always, let me know guys which one you want me to try more. I'm just obsessed with the packaging of this. Like, I wonder what made them think to make the concealer look like a pencil. I think it's genius because it stands out. All right, guys. I really hope the Benetton wins, not even gonna lie. 
for round number seven, we are going to be getting one of these NYX plumping lip glosses. I have one and I'm obsessed with it, but I'm not the biggest fan of the shade that I bought. So I'm going to get another one and you guys are going to have to help me decide which one I go with. So I love this one. The name is Striker Rose. I feel like that's gorgeous. Or I'm going to go super bold and I'm going to go with this red one and it's called Hall of Fame. So yeah, this is like super duper, duper intense, but guys, these work so well and they're only $13. I highly, highly recommend them, but we're gonna see which one wins. This one's obviously a lot more natural and then this is super bold. I need one of these NYX eyeshadow palettes. There's something about the way they look. I just, I want one. And I'm actually in a very colorful kind of mood today. I think it's because it's finally starting to get a little nicer outside and I've just had a craving to wear bright colors. So usually I wouldn't say that. Usually I'm all for neutrals. Don't get me wrong, I still love neutral eyeshadows. In fact, I wear neutral eyeshadow every single day. It's very rare that I wear bold crazy colors um but what i'm trying to say is i kind of want both of these equally i feel like i would wear these shades more but also i have a craving to just start doing more fun makeup and use brighter colors so again let me know guys which option you think i should go with if you think i should go with the neutrals comment a bunch of brown heart emojis and if you think I should go with the more bright colors comment a bunch of rainbow heart emojis but as always we are going to post the poll and see what happens this is round number eight so after this we're going to have two more rounds also guys side note after this I think I'm going to go to crumble cookies so I'm really excited they have amazing flavors this week so yeah fun fact all right I'm going to put these in the basket and as you can see the pool is all set up so can't wait to see the results I'm sure by now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I have an obsession with mascara and lashes. I'm actually not wearing lashes today. I've been more into just wearing mascara lately because it's less heavy on my eyes. And especially for spring, I like to lighten up my makeup look. Um, I love Maybelline mascaras. I think that they are just as good as some of the high-end brands. So you guys are gonna have to help me decide which one to get. I'm either going to go with the Rocket Volume Express mascara or the Sky High. Oh gosh, this is a really hard choice. I love both of these. And this is round nine. So we're gonna have to find something really cool for the final round after this. All right guys, so for the final round, I think we're gonna do something fun. So I decided on lip smackers because it's been so long since I purchased these. So should we go with the Crayola pack or the Hello Kitty pack? The Hello Kitty one comes with a lot more variety. And I'm not gonna lie, I want these a lot more, but also the packaging for the Crayola ones are adorable. I just wish they would have included more colors. Like that would have been super duper satisfying, but they're both lip smacker tins. And this is so nostalgic for me because as you guys may or may not already know, I used to collect these like hardcore a few years ago. So it is going to be up to you guys though, which one I buy. So comment a crayon emoji for these or comment a cat emoji for these i am seriously crossing my fingers that hello kitty wins like ooh, i will actually be sad if it doesn't look at all of these fun products that i have in my basket i wish i could just walk out with all of this but that would be a lot of money number one and number two the whole point of this video is that you guys get to choose that's the fun of it so i'm gonna wait a few more minutes i'm gonna look around and then we are going to check the results of all the different polls and i have not looked at anything yet i'm really excited little nervous um but overall it's gonna be a lot of fun so after we check the results i will be doing a haul in the car so stay tuned 20 minutes later all right guys it is time for us to check the results oh i am so excited because i'm just seconds away from having a really awesome haul that you guys chose for me so let's see what we have okay so 62 one little bummed about that because i did like 71 more but let's keep looking all right, let's see. Candied lemon or cotton candy? Cotton candy won by 71%. Okay, then we have the nails. Oh my gosh, I really hope the pink one. Let's see. Pink. Oh, pink lost by literally 2%. Okay, I'm kind of salty about that. Let's see. Okay, for drunk elephants, the electrolyte water facial one, which I'm so happy about. 
All right, and then bubble skincare. I honestly forget which one I said I wanted more. I think I said A, so I'm happy about that. All right, and then for the Benefit products, Benetton one, yes. Okay, happy about that too. Option A, one for the NYX Duck Plump Lip Gloss, which honestly I'm happy about because I will use that shade more for sure. All right, and then Neutrals, one over Rainbow for eyeshadow. And then this was the final one, mascara. And it looks like the Sky High one. Now for lip balm. Oh my gosh, I hope Hello Kitty one. Let's see. <gasps> no, are you kidding me? The Crayola pack one? I'm so sad. I literally want to get this one anyway. I can't do that, but like I really want to. Guys, I wanted these so badly. Like, oh well. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. So now I have to go and put all of the items that lost back on the shelves so when i'm done with that then i will meet you guys back in the car and we're gonna do a little haul all right look at the size of this bag you guys okay this haul is no joke i am so excited to try out all of these products because most of them I've never tried before. So I'm just going to reach in. So the first thing that I grabbed was this cotton candy tree hut. And this is definitely one of my favorites. It's nice and light. The packaging is so freaking cute. And I feel like anyone who loves tree hut loves this one. Let me know in the comments below, you guys, if you own this tree hut. I'm going to sniff it just because. Oh my gosh, wait. It literally looks sparkly. I never realized how shimmery and beautiful this one was like it literally sparkles it's probably not picking up on camera very well but it sort of smells like straight up sugar with like an undertone of calmness i know that's not gonna make sense to like a lot of people it just smells pretty Alrighty, you guys then i have the nails and i'm obsessed with french tips and these are like fancied up French tips. Do you get what I'm saying? Like they're not super basic. They're not boring. They have that gorgeous sparkle to them. And Kiss is definitely my favorite brand when it comes to nails. I've tried like OPI, I think it's called. And I'm just not a fan. They always fall off. The nails that I'm wearing right now are from Kiss. And I've had them on for like five days. They haven't fallen off. So I can't wait to give those a try. And then we have the Electrolyte Water Facial by Drunk Elephant. And I'm going to take this out because I want to see if it came with like a free sample. Sometimes they do. Oh! Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so here's the actual product. And then, would you look at this? So this is the TLC Framboose Glyconic Night Serum. And I absolutely love my Drunk Elephant minis. They're so fun. I love Drunk Elephant. Okay, then, I know some of you guys are gonna get mad at me. I'm so sorry. Okay, please forgive me for doing this. I cheated a little bit. And I did not get the Crayola lip balms because I remembered that I actually already have them at my house. I just didn't want duplicates. And I know technically, you know, this video is like, you guys choose my haul. So I'm sorry, but guys, I've been wanting these Hello Kitty ones for such a long time. Look at how stinking cute they are. I'm so excited about these. There's people walking past the car. That's so awkward. Did you watch them? Watch me yeah youtuber life literally when i was filming there were so many times where people would just like stop and stare at me you know what like some days it feels more awkward than others i just didn't really care today but some days i do actually just wait for there to be no people around me but there's always so many people inside of ulta even on a monday like i'm filming this on a monday because i thought it'd be less busy and it is but it isn't like there's still a lot of people around so anyways i really want to open these up oh my gosh wait that's so cool there's a little sticker on the box that says Lip smackers are celebrating their 50th year of being a thing, which is so cool. Okay, this is what they look like. And I, I just love the images and the colors. I'm taking them out, guys. I'm intrigued. I want to know what flavor the black one is. Let's see. It is chocolate nice cream. So like chocolate ice cream. It smells so good. It smells like a cup of chocolate pudding. It's been so long since I have bought lip balm like this, and it just feels so nostalgic. So now we're going to see what the orange one is. Okay, the flavor is sunny orange juice. That's so cute. I like how they made all of the flavors just sound happy and fun. That smells like orange soda. Wait, I'm putting that on. It literally smells like orange crush. Okay, I'm like so hungry. It's almost 2 p.m., 
and I'm living off of my coffee that I had from this morning. So I, like I said in the store, I'm going to crumble after this. Okay, this next one has the white cap and it's called sweet cinnamon roll oh my gosh i totally would have assumed that this one was going to be a gumball scent because it looks like she's by a jar of gumballs but that one is so good too oh my god that's gonna make my stomach growl oh my god that's like a sweet buttery cookie scent then we have the pink one which is like the cutest and it's in the flavor sweet strawberry shake Ooh, that smells like strawberry lollipops i love that Ooh, okay baby blue baby blue what flavor are you baby blue is blueberry butter fingers wait what so is it gonna smell like chocolate and blueberries or blueberries and butter Ooh, that smells like blue raspberry dum-dum lollipops that is so good that threw me off at first because when i hear butter fingers i think about you know the chocolate butter fingers so it doesn't smell like chocolate at all though then we have this like indigo blue and oh look how cute the picture is it's like a little fox and a birdie at the mailbox with hello kitty this one is very best friends this one's basic i'm not gonna lie it's not my favorite like it's really cute but it's just very basic nothing wrong with it it's just not my favorite you know all right and then we have this red one the flavor is five red apples tall okay whoa that actually smells like a crisp red apple oh my gosh i'm so happy that i bought these and again please don't get mad at me guys i just i didn't want to buy something i already had okay so oh this is my favorite packaging for sure it's hello kitty with an ice cream cone and there's a little rainbow and a sunshine the flavor is keen kiwi pie that smells very sour like it smells like watermelon it doesn't smell like kiwi at all to me it smells like a sour watermelon but i'm not complaining and then we have a yellow and a beige one the yellow one look at the packaging it's so cute the yellow one is in the flavor one pineapple day oh like fine apple day but pineapple day it smells like pineapple pound cake like i guess well pineapple and like an undertone of vanilla so then the very last one she's so cute it looks like she's having like a little beach day or no she's not at the beach there's grass i don't know just it's like a sunny day and she's got an umbrella to like protect herself from the sun vanilla pudding pop is the flavor oh my goodness wait mm. now i literally want cold vanilla pudding that sounds so good but anyways guys out of all of the ones that i showed you let me know which one is your favorite i would say that my favorite is packaging wise i gotta go with the green one with her in the ice cream cone but flavor wise like if i had to put one of these on right now i really like the blueberry butter fingers that one was so good anyways then we have the sul de janeiro pistachio and salted caramel spray not gonna lie i really wanted the 70 was it 71 i think it was 71 that i wanted i like that one more this one's also really good it's just like very vanilla you know and fun fact apparently if you smell like vanilla you're automatically 10 times more attractive i think because vanilla is like a very warming comforting clean scent so then we have the maybelline sky high mascara i do have this but it's like all dried out so i did not mind getting it again and um yeah that is something that i would have repurchased anyway it's very good mascara i also got two things on the side of the challenge my total was crazy you guys <laughs> it was almost 400 dollars. but um these items are both from hourglass i asked them if they had any recommendations for a pore minimizing powder and the lady recommended this one by Hourglass and it's like a loose powder and it's so fine. Like the powder is like softer than soft. So I got that. And then this is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. And I got it like 10 times lighter than my skin tone because my intent is to highlight with this like under my eyes, bridge my nose, you know, the whole shebang. Benetton, dude. Okay, wait, I want to try this like, do I want to try it right now? i'm gonna wait i was gonna say i'm gonna try this right now um because i'm so curious about it but callie really loves this you could use this for your lips and your cheeks i'm so happy that this won in the pool um but something i actually want to try on right now is this duck plump nyx gloss i do have one of these already but i don't love the shade i have so let's see <sighs> it's so bright literally you don't feel it tingling your lips at first but then all of a sudden it's like it's intense and it really works so then guys we have the 
Bubble Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer. I have one of their moisturizers already. I can't remember which one I have. It's not this one though. And I really want to keep trying more bubble skincare because I just think it's the cutest looking thing ever and it's not as expensive as Drunk Elephant. And then guys, lastly, well, there's actually two more things. I also bought this on the side of the challenge. It's just a L'Oreal 24 hour infallible pressed powder because the one that I have is too light and you know as it starts getting nicer I'm gonna get tanner so anyways the last item that you guys voted for was the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals Palette. I'm always wearing neutral eyeshadow so even though like I have been into color lately I'm happy that this one won because odds are I probably wouldn't have used the other one too much. But anyways you guys that was all for today's video. If you guys liked it then please don't forget to give it a big giant thumbs up and if you'd like me to do another video like this one then let me know what store we should do it at next. But I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! Mwah!